What's up guys, today we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening a Prismatic God box. These are from Japan, they're really incredible products. Rhyme Styles opened a couple of them and they look really cool. So I decided I'd buy one thanks to his uh, peer pressure. So it's all his fault if we don't get anything good. But before that, the giveaway, I'll be giving away some God cards since we're gonna open up this box. Let's go ahead and hop into it. My camera is low on battery. So, or at least my uh, face cam. So we're not trying to run out of battery here. So let's go ahead and cut this out and let's open it up real quick. Okay, there we go. I think that's like the whole seal, is <laughs> that little flap. So let's open it up. I think it tells you right away which guy card you get, so we're about to see. Obelisk, okay, that's cool. Obelisk is a really good one. And these are, as it, as it says, prismatic god box, you get a prismatic god card. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely amazing. Wow, look at this, guys. It says, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, there's Yu-Gi-Oh. Wow, this looks really cool. So let's open this up in our tiny space. Oh my goodness, here we go. This is super heavy. What's in here? They give you not only these packs and this beautiful prismatic obelisk the tormentor. I mean, that's already amazing. They give you uh, these little sleeves and these like screw down covers. And they actually give you screw downs. A screw down. So that is really super cool. I guess that's so you can put your god card in there, or like other card, obviously. Then they give you these absolutely amazing sleeves. Just look at those. Wow, those are incredible. And they give you some other cool sleeves. So that is some really cool accessories that come with this. And not only that, you get the actual god card with the pack. So let's see if we can get this out of here without damaging anything. So let's go like that. All right, the special packs. We're going to open this up because we're going to grade it. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. Probably keeping it sealed would not be a bad idea either. These boxes are actually kind of expensive for being like brand new. They just came out recently. Oh gosh. Okay. That was kind of violent. They just came out recently, but these boxes, I think I paid $500 for three of them total after shipping and stuff. So whew, that was pretty expensive. Um, they were less when they first came out, but then they kind of got bought out. Check that out. Rhyme told me to buy them originally and I just didn't do it. And then I had to pay more because I didn't. So... Yeah, it was, it was kind of my fault, but that is a beautiful obelisk, the Tormentor. We have now have five packs. I think you get an ultimate rare in all of them, and Rhymesire was, was saying that they might be mapped, and he thinks they probably are, but uh, we're going to open them and see. I can't remember. I think... I can't remember which one you can get an obelisk. I think it's either the Sphere mode or the Dark Magician. I can't remember it's... if it. Okay, there's the Parallel Rarity. It's either Winged Dragon of Frost Sphere mode or... The, uh, what am I saying? Dark Magician. Okay, that's cool. Blue Eyes Tune. And it's the, uh, they have the DB1 art for both Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. There's the, uh, Exchange of the Spirit, I think. And an Obelisk. An Obelisk, uh, some sort of support card or something. Okay, next pack. So, I think, I don't think there's so, in any order. I think it's just random where the Ultimate Rare comes from. I can't remember all the rarities in here, but there's some cool stuff. So obviously you got the parallel rarity with the relinquish. That's pretty cool. That's definitely a good one. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure what that is. Or that. That's uh, some sort. Is that neutron blast? I don't know. Oh no! Is this it? This is the obelisk support card. I think I saw Rhyme get this one. So that is not what we're looking for. It is okay. So look at these. These are ultimate rares. Look how sh. Wow, those look amazing. Look how the the light shines off them compared to this. Like, look at this. This one, it's like, eh. This one is like you can straight up see the light, like a beam. That is really cool. Okay, so uh, I guess that's our ultimate rare. We're about to find out what else you can get. Obelisk the Tormentor. That's amazing. All right, next pack. Oh, my gosh. This is... Uh, these packs are like weirdo. Well, you're probably supposed to open them the, the other way, but oh well. Ooh, Necroface. I know that one. I wonder if any of these cards are worth anything. Do you guys know? These uh, non-ultimate rares? These, what are these called? Millennium rares? There's a Relinquished Fusion. And a, some sort of Slifer card. That's cool, but I don't know what it is. Some sort of Slifer, uh, Slifer support card. Oh, wait, okay. Is there another way to open this? Yeah, there, there we go. That, that's how you do this. Open it like a nub. That's how I like to do it. Open it like a nub. All right. Uh, uh, oh, no. 
These are violent if you don't open them the way they want you to. Alright, that's Exodia, like, Incarnate or something like that. Defusion. Oh, I played with this. This is a Dark Magician card. Uh, I played with it yesterday, actually. I was playing cards, guys. You won't, you would not believe it. Gold Sarcophagus. Ooh, that's sweet. That's like an Ultra Rare Parallel Rare or something. Blue Eyes. That's cool. And Final Pack. Oh, no. See that? I pull it, and then it just doesn't rip. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Here we go again. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Blast held by a tribute. Some sort of silent magician card. I can't remember what that's called. A tuned yard magician girl. And, ooh, ultra rare. That's a, uh, that is the, uh, what is he called? The Dragon Master Knight of some sort. But we got all spell cards in this one, so that's kind of not cool. We got to open another one. Next box. Let's try and get something better this time. We got, like, all spell cards. So spell cards are cool, but we're trying to get a cool monster. Besides our obelisk, we didn't really get, you know, anything crazy. Where did we put our obelisk by the- Oh, he's under the box! What is this? Oh gosh. We put him under the box. That is not good. Another obelisk. Okay, so we got another obelisk. Let's take this out. We got another obelisk. I'm probably going to take him out and grade him as well, but for now we'll put him right there. Let's go with the packs. Let's see if we can open these the correct way, first of all, and then can we pull something good. There we go. That is how you open this pack. Ooh, Monster Reborn. I love that. There's so many Monster Reborn prints. That is some sort of Thousand Eyes card. The Silent, Silent Magician Exodia. Is that our ultimate rare? <laughs> no! Okay, we're about to have to open all three of these. I mean, this card's cool, but... But come on. Come on. Spell card. Okay, I, I'm getting frustrated here. We need something amazing. They look so good, too. They look so good, but we're, we're not pulling the big boys. I was hoping for, uh, I guess it was Dark Magician or... Sphere mode? I don't know. If if they're actually mapped, which I think they are. It seems like they are. Defusion. Ooh, that's cool. This is called, like, uh, the Raw the Immortal Phoenix or something like that. It's a good one. Raw the Immortal Phoenix. That is an ultra rare, though. Not an ultimate rare. So, I, I don't know. Can you get, like, all the ultras in ultimate? Is that how this works? So, that would be a cool ultimate. Oh, gosh. This is not good. There we go. There we go. This would be a cool uh, Thousand Eyes to play in your uh, Go deck. You know, it's just a super rare, but maybe different. Here we go. Come on. Oh, Blue Eyes Ultimate. You can get this one as an ultra ultimate rare. Rhyme Style got it in one of his boxes. That would be a really great one. That's still really cool as an ultra rare. Two more packs. Two more packs. We got to get something good. We got to get something good. The Relinquished. Tune Table of Contents. Some very good cards in here. Oh, Blue Eyes Tune Dragon. The Sark. Oh, oh wait! Why does this look different? Is it just because it's an Ultra Rare? It's like more prominent? Wow, that looks really good. That Slifer card looks really good. That's pretty awesome. Alright, last pack. We do have one more box. I think we're about to open it after this. Hopefully it's not an Obelisk. Because we already have two. Maybe Ryan will trade one with me. Silent Magician. There's his card. Come on. There's the one we pulled in Collector Rare. So, okay. Or not Collector Rare. Ultimate Rare. That's cool. All right. We're doing another box. Our final chance. Can we at least get a different promo? That is our that's our goal. Not be an obelisk. And then can we get a nice ult, Ultimate Rare? That's the way to end this video. These were expensive. So can we get something good, please? Come on. <laughs> oh, obelisks. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. All obelisk boxes. Can we at least get a good Ultimate Rare? Please! At least uh, at least Obelisk is my favorite god card, so that's a that's a plus. Um, but uh, now we're going to have to figure out to try to trade for one or something. Because I don't really want to spend 500 more dollars, to be honest. Silent Swordsman. Hell Palmer. That's some Dark Magician card. Oh, thank goodness. I thought that was it. I was like, no. Please. No. That's just an Ultra Rare. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on! By the way, our uh, 50k special will be coming up either like tomorrow or the next day, I think. If everything goes according to plan. So make sure you guys subscribe and also um, join the membership if you guys want some exclusive content or to be in the Discord. There we go. Okay. 
That's our ultimate. We got the, the uh, what's he called? Raw the Immortal Phoenix or something? That's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's a monster. It looks really good. I can handle this one. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I will take that. Unfortunately, we got all obelisks. And not the best ultimate rares, but I will take that last one. That's pretty good. Pretty good card. Now let's see what we can finish off with. Since we know we don't have an ultimate, let's kind of go like this. Ooh, another one of these. This would be kind of a cool ultimate if it was just a monster. It would be a lot better. The, the blue eyes looks a little bit weird, though. Like, I don't know. He kind of looks strange in that. I don't know what the deal with him, with him is. Oh, yeah. Let me know if any of you guys have opened any of these. They're kind of hard to get now. I mean, even right after release, people were buying them like crazy. Okay, that's... Uh, I don't know what that is. Ooh. A lot of support cards in here. Not too many actual monsters, which is unfortunate. That's cool. Okay, last one. I'm glad we did get uh, Immortal Phoenix. That's cool. Or whatever you call it. Oh, we got a normal monster back there. What could it be? All right, last card. Hell Palmer. This is our last chance at something epic. Here we go. Oh, sweet. See, this is the collector where you can you really won out of here. That's pretty cool. So I don't think they're... Yeah, they're, it looks like they have a certain number of cards in, in the packs for each one. But there's like a few different collector rares you can get. So we did get the Dark Magician... Ultra rare collector's rare, so that's pretty good, but it's not the uh, the actual ultimate rare. Then we got we got our three promos. Those are really cool, but oh, all obelisks. That was not on purpose, by the way. Then we got some ultra rares. We got some cool stuff in there. Those are so like any of these, I guess, could be uh, ultimate rare. And then these three ultimate rares. So we got the uh, the best one, I think, is this, just because it's a monster and it's raw. That's pretty cool. Um, this guy looks cool, but he's a spell, and just spells just for some reason aren't as cool sometimes. Unless they're like Monster Reborn, you know, something awesome. But, oh well, that was not the best, but I would say it was still fun. If we pulled something huge, it would have been really cool, but uh, maybe Brown Style will trade me at least one of his other god cards and hook me up, because <laughs> I have a million obelisks right now. But that was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like the video if you did. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>